the Bucks are trying their absolute hardest to remind us how much we can't have faith in them. Right when you thought they were starting to turn it around, they do this and they lose to a LeBronless Lakers after holding a 19 point fourth quarter lead. It's not quite 20, so they barely missed out on my ongoing series of teams blowing 20 point leads in the fourth quarter. But still, this is hilarious nonetheless. The Bucks have had this record since the All Star break. And it's been looking like they were going to be one of the better teams coming out of the All-Star break. A lot of us have had our doubts, myself included. I even made a video about it. And I was ready to make another one saying that they might have turned the ship around. But like has been the case in the past when it comes to the Bucks, you can't really trust them. And you can't really trust their head coach in Doc Rivers because even if he does well in the regular season, the postseason is a whole different animal. Now, these losses could be drops in the bucket and ultimately they can figure it out, but it's not looking that way. There's still time. We'll see. All right. You guys ready for a hot take? Austin Reeves might actually be really good at basketball. That's a pretty shocking thing to say. And... I feel thankful that I'm one of the brave people to actually speak up about this and say it first because I don't think anyone's really talking about it. Austin Reeves had a triple-double and D'Lo and AD had double-doubles. I question whether or not he could take the reins from LeBron when he ultimately decides to hang it up 30 years from now. But I have to say, it looks promising. Whether or not you think that's true, you can't deny his impact this season. Something about him and AD just works. And speaking of AD, he had 30 and 20 in this game, which makes him the only Laker to do this multiple times since Shaq. That's pretty astonishing. The man's been on a mission this season. Too bad it hasn't translated to wins for the Lakers, but... Statistically, this might be one of the better seasons that AD has had. Another person who's coming out of this looking better and better by the day is D'Lo. He was on the trade block not too long ago and everybody was ready to send him out of the building and he's starting to look more and more like the D'Lo that they thought they were getting when they first signed him. The same as it was last season, this is all well and good and you can make a run to get a higher seed towards the end of the year, but when it comes to the playoffs, he was unplayable against the Nuggets. On the other side of that, you say if somehow you can manage a way to avoid the Nuggets, then you like your chances. The Lakers have played some of the top teams in the league pretty tough and come out with some tough victories on Western Conference powerhouses. If you were to say that you take the Lakers as a lower seed against any other higher seed in the Western Conference, I'd take that action. If they are playing the Nuggets, they are getting swept. Then Austin Reeves almost hits the bucket that ends the game. And could you imagine if this shot would have went in? Would have been absolute pandemonium. I don't understand how he got this wide open with how hot he was down the stretch, but I'm not the one making the defensive scheme, so that's on you, Milwaukee. Also, there was a travel that wasn't called on Giannis that got LeBron pretty hot. It was funny to watch him get upset about that because he's obviously the king of these types of things. No pun intended. He, of all people, should know how travels are supposed to look. Now, the Lakers in this game didn't even take a lead until overtime. It really seemed like after a couple of minutes had gone by in the fourth, the Bucks were like, nah, I don't think I will. It seemed like they were just fed up with this game at some point. The Celtics and the Bucks are just ready to add another notch in the belt of playoff Jimmy. Outside of all that, this was actually a good game, though. Double overtime is crazy, no matter the circumstances. After this game, though, the Lakers are going to be spent because they had to exert everything that they had just to come out with this. Don't be surprised if they come out flat on the second night of a back-to-back -back against the Grizzlies and lose. Because it's one thing to play the best team with all you got. It's another thing to go down to the wire in overtime with that same team. It's another, another thing to go into double overtime just to clutch out a victory. Now, that's not to say that they aren't capable because they have done this before in the past. But LeBron wasn't in this game, so he may be able to carry them to a victory in their next one. But those are my thoughts on this game. 
What do you guys think? Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you feel so inclined and I'll catch you guys on the next one.